So the pit is down there, and the stage is up here. Which well, let's see the want? stage. Let's go. go. Check out stage. After you. So we got dressing rooms and stuff further up. Okay. So here's got the side stage view. You guys come off the street and you basically and then we'll get that. you're like bam on on stage. Right. So now where's your yeah, where do you guys spend your time working? So we're underneath the stage. You're underneath. Yep. So give me a little what are we seeing here? What are we going into? Alright, so this is the entrance of the downstairs, which is what they call the green room. Okay. So this is where the band hangs out, the cast hangs out, we have all of the sound equipment yeah, that's in that charge. Awesome audio if you want to check it at the station, Okay. So they do. They handle all the audio that acts for everything that's on stage, monitors, everything out front, the whole thing. This is the green room, also where they have like uh, costume changes and stuff. And so then they have the video screen of the actual. Yep, that's where the actors can monitor where they are if they're sitting here waiting. So this is the pit. This is where it all goes down. That's right. All right. All right. So Benny, this is your this is your rig. Yeah, here, this right? is my rig. So get in there and give me a rundown yeah. of what you got going on in there. So basically. So much of the show has to do with hip hop and R and B, and so much um, traditionally sequenced elements. Uh, Alex Lacamar, the orchestrator, he wrote everything, pretty much all of that, to be played live through this. So anything that you'd hear in a record, typically like a clap or any synthetic like 808 type things, that's all coming from here, pretty much. And then I'm also running Ableton, which 90% of the show is the click, so I'm controlling all of that, and then probably half of those scenes have certain track elements, and that's stuff that's kind of impossible to play, like if there's a pattern that's going through a phaser or anything like that, that's all through there, and then I've also got a motif, um, which typical, a lot of times, like a percussion book on Broadway has mallets like vibraphone, marimba, which all four mallet stuff, but instead of actual uh, percussion like vibraphone, it's all from the motif. So I play all that on the piano. So this is Ableton, and so that's where I can see all that and what's all happening there. And then these are both for the conductor. Same shot, just because there's parts where I have to be over here by the chime, so I want to have a nice shot of him here. Sometimes here I'm turned around, actually, and playing the, the concert bass drum and the snare drum at the same time. So I also have a camera up top so I can check out the conductor okay. while I'm doing that. Similar to um, Benny, but very different, I have uh, electronics where I basically trigger actual drum grooves, but they're synthetic snare sounds. I also have a Roland pedal here that serves as a bass drum. So I actually play grooves in real time, um, and I use this dead pad to help keep the time. So I'll play something like that just to keep the time, um, it, but it's a groove, as, whereas opposed to Benny's, he's more controlling the click and also playing a thousand other things at once. Uh, mine's a lot simpler than his. Um, and I have five snare drums, so uh, the main snare drum, I have a uh, pre-Civil War drum that Calderwood made for me with real gut snares. This is a Steve Smith snare drum that's very low pitch with a, a big fat snare thing on it to help make it sound lower. This is like a piccolo and a soprano snare. Um, yeah, and the, the drum set, you know, is it's not overly complicated, but everything gets um, utilized. Uh, Monitor-wise, I have a, a s monitor of the stage so I can see what's happening on stage. And I also have three monitors like Benny that allow me to see the conductor um, so that I can sort of follow his cues as well. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who is this kid? What's he going to do? I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. And you won't just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm going to get a scholarship to King's College. I probably should have bragged with Dad. I'm amazed and astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains but no polish. I got to holler just to be heard with every word I drop.
else if there's an issue on stage? Like, what if an, an, an actor or a dancer or a singer screws up and, like... It totally happens. I mean, I mean it's, it's live human, theater. Right? Yeah, it's exactly. Human. It's all And it's all human elements. I mean, really, in the show, it's like even the electronic stuff, um, it's all very human. And so there are those um, natural mistakes that do happen. I mean, big and small. For instance, we had someone had a stroke, I think, or something very serious not too long ago. They stopped the show completely, and when that happened, we just stopped, but everyone stopped perfectly because from the people at top, the management, they were on what they call the God mic, because everyone can hear it. They got on there and said, and we're stopping. When they said that, we all stopped without missing a beat. So at that point, you know, we wait until they give us further direction, but you know, everyone's such a pro here, they, they know what to do. And um, that happens. But that's the great thing about live theater. You know, this is, uh, this is still real music. It's not program music. So when that stuff happens, if I screw up all the time. But that's part of the beauty of playing the show is that well, I get the next, next time to play to, to sort of not screw up and, and, and do better, you know. And that's, Redeem yourself or yeah. myself. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful part of, of doing these shows is the mistakes that happen because it shows the humanness in the show, which people pay money to, to see a live show, yeah. and that's what they're getting here. There's nothing rich folks love more than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and gawk at the students in the common just to watch them talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man that's loaded. Uh-oh, but little does he know that his daughters, Peggy, Angelica, Eliza, sneak into the city just to watch all the guys at work, work. Angelica, work, work. Eliza, work, work. the sky The show is larger than than any of us are. It's larger than any of us expected it to be. I think for Benny and I, it, for what we do, and then personally, because we're friends, you know, the greatest thing for us is to be able to share this experience with other people, whether it be young players that have never played on Broadway or um, people that are interested in the show, and we can bring them in somehow um, so they feel like they're a part of it as well. None of it's worth anything if you can't share it with people, and uh, this is uh, part of the joy of what we do. We got a note recently, just the, the ten of us in the pit from a fan just talking about how the soundtrack really, like, she loves and doesn't have a lot of experience, not a lot of exposure, and she just said how much it's changed everything for her and to hear stuff like that that's that's what really matters that's like yeah. okay this is why we do it and his right hand man Are you guys camped out here? Yeah. yeah. For what? Hamilton. <laughs> no kidding. So I'm the drummer for the show. That's cool. Really? I can't right. believe that you guys are that dedicated. <laughs> Me neither, honestly. Yeah, neither. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. So a lot of times um, at the show we have folks that come to check out the books and stuff, and I have a friend that's. What's happening? Oh, here he is right now. Sorry, guys. Welcome to uh, Hamilton, Mr. Greb. Hello. What a pleasure to have you here. Oh, it's why, a pleasure. Why don't you come back with us? But couldn't you get more snare drums? I'm a little disappointed. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Only five? Only five, and Benny has one. Okay, Only one. good. 